on The Real. On Girl Chat, Kanye takes a nap. This has done that to me, except I was pregnant and I really wanted to fight him. <laughs> <laughs> then Glam Squad, start the clock. I love her new look so far. Because 60 Minutes of Glam is back. Plus, hip hop star, Yo Gotti. She looking sexy too. Oh Lord, on The Real. Hey everyone, we're getting ready to start the show, but before we do, this is Kristen. And when it comes to style, she says she's been stuck in mommy mode and doesn't have time to take care of herself. So we're gonna give her a makeover and we're doing it in 60 minutes or less. We've already started the clock just moments ago because what our glam squad has planned this time is going to be dramatic. Yes. Kristen, are you excited? I am, a little nervous, but very excited. <laughs> don't be nervous, we got you girl. You don't wanna miss this reveal, so keep watching. Now Matt, let's start this show. expose something that what? you can take this me. out of it. Okay, don't, okay. don't expose my stuff. Me? Yes. You took a pair of my underwear, I remember. Okay, no, wait, we have, wait. okay, so we have, we have, no, don't get hold it. on, hold, hold on. on. Do so, tell. I just want to share, because this is my go-to now, and I never knew about these. Oh, no, I know, no, no. I guess <laughs> that is, okay, I, okay, it's it, fine. I'm sure everyone has a pair. <laughs> Well, I did it. Yes. So <laughs> last season, she was going through her pregnancy, and all of our stylists take our clothing and they wash it. You know, all wash it together in the dry cleans. Well, sometimes our laundry gets mixed up. I went home with a pair of um, um, <laughs> underwear and I put them on. And guys, you ain't was... know that was not true. <laughs> I, I did it. Go ahead. You guys, I never, I never pulled up underwear where you pull them up and usually it stops right here. Nah, bro. Guys, these kept going. Nah. All the way to here. And I was like, well, they I felt supported. They, they were soft. And I took a picture and I go, Tamara, are, are these your, your underwear? And you, you said, said, yes, those are mine. Do you like them? They're amazing. <laughs> They're my go-to. You're not getting them back, friend. You know what? No. They were clean. No. 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 Because when I was doing the Amari uh, Hardwick interview, they brought my clothes to me and the undergarments, I kept trying to put it on. I kept trying to put on the undergarment. I was like, this is a, this thing, this what? And I looked at the size, I was like, and then Oakley, our stylist, was like, oh, I'm sorry, these are Tamara's underwear. And I'm just like, yeah, why underwear, just underwear get my underwear. underwear. Why is your like, underwear on the loose, they, girl? They, why? why don't y'all know about underwear identity? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but I ripped oh, them up. Oh, Lord, that I was trying to get in so them, but nasty. I ripped them. I'm sorry. So that's where they went, Mari? Yeah, I'm uh -uh. sorry. I was. I okay, didn't know. Mm. Do you think, okay, <laughs> if we're going to be totally honest. Obviously, when Tamara said, when Jeannie said <laughs> that she wore Tamara's underwear, all of you guys were like, <gasps> That's nasty. But she said it just came out of the yeah. wash. Wait, is that okay it then? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Wait, 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 don't do that. That's my sister, it. though. Like, nasty. That's my clean. Dog, you don't share your underwear, baby. You that's guys. That's nasty. You had to have, no. Nah, even if it was are. clean, nah. with all you your never share you... panties with your sister. No, my no, sister I and I, My sister and I swapped all the time. Y'all never... twins, I got the same DNA. But y'all twins, y'all got the same DNA. Y'all got the same DNA, it really don't matter. That's like taking my I'm sorry, if one of my girlfriends is over my house and needs a pair of underwear or slept over and needs a fresh pair, I have a whole drawer full of no. perfectly clean underwear. No. Oh, no, that's a little too personal. That's, Tamar. For me, that would be too personal. Wait, we are sisters and we're family. If you were in need of an underwear, no. desperately, no, I would, you I would, would never wear our underwear. Fun. This is why you have commando, okay? Thank you. you. I would not be commando. Hey, it's family. No. It's family. 
clean. I'm really clean. I ain't got time to get the itchy and scratchy, no. At the top of today's show, we introduced you to Kristen, a mother of two who's stuck in a fashion rut. Well, today we're breaking her out of that rut and giving her a brand new look. Yes. But before we check in on the progress, let's hear her story. Hi ladies, I'm Kristen and I desperately need your help. I have been stuck in mommy mode for the last six years and my wardrobe needs help. Here I am at work wearing corduroys that I bought at the Goodwill and a shirt that my mother handed down to me. I used to have an ankle bob and now I have a blob. Please give me a makeover. When we asked Kristen to show us what she typically wore day to day, we were shocked to find out that her work clothes, her date night clothes, her around the house clothes, and pajamas all look similar. There's no way we were gonna let her walk around fashionable LA without making a change. Now to have Kristen looking good from head to toe, we called in our celebrity glam squad. On hair, we have Micah B. On makeup, we have AJ Crimson. And holding it down in the fashion department, we have our very own Oakley Stevenson. We brought Kristen in to give her the makeover of her dreams. The only question that still needs to be answered is, can our glam squad complete Kristen's makeover in 60 minutes or less? We'll soon find out. Bring that Lonnie is backstage with Kristen and the glam squad to see how things are going. Lonnie, give us all the details, girl. Guys, Woo! it's Bananas back. Our glam squad is doing their thing, and I love her new look so far. I'm sure when you all see her later on, you're going to go crazy, too. AJ, what's going on with the makeup? What are you planning on doing? I'm just giving her a lot of drama. It's oh, all about drama. I love it. Micah, the hair. Are we looking for something surprising or what? Yes, we are. We are looking for some tasso and some curls. All right. And Kristen... We've covered all the mirrors, so you haven't seen yourself, but you know they're working on you. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling amazing. I never get pampered like this. I it's am great. so happy we could do this for you. I can't wait to see this. All right, the Glam Squad still has a bit more work to do, so I'll let them finish up, but the clock is winding down. They gotta do this in 60 minutes or less. Hopefully they can finish up her transformation. There's something about being in the kitchen with the ones you love that does the heart good, and there's also something about the smell of fresh baked goods anytime time of the day. Yummy. That's why I wanted to share a recipe with you that will have your whole house smelling yummy, yummy, yummy. It's a recipe that will make you the most popular mom on the block, not to mention it's a fast dessert that will satisfy your sweet tooth. Welcome to Tamara's Family Bakery. Okay, I have my wonderful friend Talitha and her beautiful daughter Riley here to help me out. We're gonna show you how to make a cookie cake. We're gonna get our hands really, really dirty with this recipe, yeah. and it's a lot of fun, so are you excited? Yeah. Okay, great. I'll make one cake, and then you guys will follow my lead, okay? okay. It's really, really easy. And when you're done, my girls over there will let us know what they think. Sure yes! Will. So the pressure is on because they're really, really honest. This is the real, okay. So let the fun begin. Let's get started. In a small bowl, we're going to whisk together two and a quarter cups of flour and half teaspoon of baking soda, like so. We're just gonna mix that like this, and then we're gonna set it aside because we're gonna use it a little later, okay? In a separate bowl, we're going to combine one cup of room temperature butter, and if your butter, if you've just taken it out of the, and it's sticking, no. If you've, if you've taken it out of the refrigerator and it needs to be room temperature, I just like to hold it in my hands. Ooh, the warmth smart. of your hands yes. will warm up Warms the butter. Up a bit. Then you're gonna add one cup of sugar and one and a half cup of brown sugar. I brown sugar Riley. tends to be a little bit hard. <laughs> yeah. Are you doing it? Riley, help her. Pull get your hands in there, Riley. Just get your hands in there. There you go. There you go. All right. All right. We're gonna beat this with an electric mixer on medium speed until the batter is light and fluffy, like That's so. The fun part. This is the fun part. <laughs> I like baking because it gets a little messy, but it's so much fun. They're doing great over there. Good job. No, no. <laughs> Boom. The sugar. Right yeah. You might want to help you your mom out. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Turn the mixer off. And then in the same bowl, we're gonna add one teaspoon of salt. Two oh. eggs oh. and two and a half <laughs> teaspoons of vanilla extract. Your eggs. All right. Cooking like Adrian. 
All right, and now we're gonna mix this again, okay? It's gonna get messy again, oh God, so be so careful. It do it on medium. so good. That way it stays in the bowl, because if you do it on high, then it's just gonna fly everywhere. Okay, we're gonna mix it really good. I always say baking is like a science. You really have to make sure all of the ingredients yes. really, really mix well. Yes. All right. And the measurements too, right? And you the have measurements. To be super yes. precise. Correct. Okay, all right. Adrian. Okay. That's why I don't do it because I ain't precise. <laughs> all right. Next, we're gonna add two cups of chocolate chips. Yes. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah. Can I have a chocolate chip? You want a chocolate chip? Just one, please. Well, there are eggs in here, and Come I don't want to. Okay. All right. Go for it. Okay. <laughs> then we're gonna add one cup of rainbow sprinkles, and then finally the flour Ooh. that we mixed earlier. Okay. And we're gonna mix this like so until it looks like cookie dough. You know the cookie dough that you find yes. in stores? Well, we're making or that cookie dough cream. right Fresh now, made. yes. Look at that. So you usually have to mix this for a while, but we don't have that much time. Uh. So I have one already prepared right oh here. My gosh, you can so also pretty. buy pre-made dough at the store yeah. if yeah. you don't wanna go through all of this. Put some sprinkles in it. Yes, 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 and we're almost done, Riley. But this sure. is the fun part, okay? Because this is where we get to use our hands. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Riley's Good ready. job. Now we're gonna take the dough and we're just gonna spread it across the bottom of a grease pan like this to create a huge cookie. See? Wow. So instead of the small cookies, we're gonna make a big, big cookie that looks like pizza. Oh, so that oh can be God. any size you want it to be. Yes, like you can, you can have it. You can have it in a square rectangle. You can have it in the smaller uh, uh, cake pans or something like this. And then once this is done, you're gonna bake the cookie cake in a 350 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. And when you take it out, you're gonna let it cool for about three to five minutes because it's then time to decorate. And it's gonna look like this when we take it out. Look at that big cookie. Yum, 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 yum. Oh my God, it rises. See? Yeah, cool, right? And then we're going to use pipe icing all around the edge of the cake like this. My husband loves this part. Oh, so oh Isn't this cool? God, and you just put it around. How you doing, Riley? Riley. You have to make one of good. these for Araya's first birthday. Yes. She would love that. Wow, Tam, you're really good at that. Yeah, oh, thanks, like guys. A pro. And then, for the final touch, you're just gonna add some sprinkles like this. See? Add them on. Oh, yep. Wow. Yeah. And that the final amazing. product should look like this when you're all done. Look how pretty that looks. Wow. Wait, that's bon appetit, ladies. Everyone have a bite and please tell me I'm what you think. I'm gonna eat it like a pizza. You're gonna eat like a pizza? Mm, what do you warm. think? Do you that like so it? Warm. It's buttery. Yay! Yeah, yeah. Riley, do you like it? Yeah. You do? Because it's, it's like a like a like a mushy um mm. cookie. It's mm. not. Yeah, you want it to be moist. Like you don't want it to be cake. hard. Yeah, cookie cake. And it's yeah. crispy on the outside. Yes, crispy on the okay. outside, moist in the inside. Now the next guest is just fresh from releasing his much anticipated CD, The Art of Hustle. And let me tell y'all something, this CD is everything, <laughs> all right? This CD has already given us the monster hit down in the DM. Yes! Uh, <laughs> and let, let me put you on to something, okay? This song, <laughs> this song right here gives me my entire life. Like, <laughs> it's my theme song. I hear it walking down the street. It doesn't even have to be playing. <laughs> like, for real. All right? Give it up for Yo Gotti!
Yeah. Uh, she looking sexy too. Oh so. Lord, you was telling me you married. Yeah, he I'm said married. you're looking sexy, Jeannie. I'm married. Yeah. You will? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, now we gonna say that. <laughs> you should have been here nine years ago. You might have had a chance. So oh. you oh. like the DM is such a great song. But we've been having a huge debate here, okay? We wanna know. The lyrics say, I see your girl post on her BM. No, don't try so to I, rap it, just so I hit her on the DM. That's how it goes, right? I sent your girl post a BM. So I hit in the DM. But what does BM mean? So what does BM mean? BM mean like BMW. Like, ah, so, okay. Oh, like sure. where I'm from in Memphis, like, you know, we call BMWs, Beamers, BMs. Yeah. Oh. Like, it's like a little slang talk. Okay, Adrian. got it, because yes. during Tell them what you one of our was. breaks between, like, on our commercial breaks, we literally a few weeks ago had the whole audience. We're like, does anyone know what BM means? <laughs> We're like, we've heard BM say baby mama. We had. Bunch of I, different versions. It was very confusing. So I have to ask you, now that the song has become such a big hit, is everybody flooding your DM? And my DM popping like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Super, you like, did that. Yes, uh, my DM on 10 right now. Really? Yeah, well, crazy. the important question is not who hitting you up, but who do you hit back up? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> uh, I try to hit most people as possible back, you know? Really? Yeah. Leave the options open. Well, they always been open, so. <laughs> <I'm trying> to... <laughs> well, in Good your to song, know. you have a crush on reality star uh, Angela Simmons. Yeah. Did y'all ever work together? Uh, well, not work together, but I, I bumped into her a few times, and I pretty much let her know what it is. You, you, oh, you let her know? Yeah. He put it in the song. Oh, no, no, not in the song. I let her know when I see her what it is. And what did she say? Like, I mean, I think she just smiled off. You know what you girls do, women do. Yeah, you know? so. Smiled off, <laughs> kiki, kiki, when no, I'm serious. You know no, what I'm really? <laughs> so, Gotti, we got a photo of you guys looking cozy. Check out your hand. Oh. oh Right there, it's right oh, yeah. around that waist. Yes, that's yeah, what we yeah. like it. But see, we like it a little lower. That's yes. it's a little lower. So it's a little this, lower. Right, this right here is like a friend. Right here is more than friends. Oh. Then, then you got to go just a little bit right, like right, like right, right here. here. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Right, right here, yep. right there. Uh, you know what, Lonnie? Right Lonnie. What? I'm just showing him so he'll know. Because we <laughs> here at The Real want to give you the opportunity to woo her. You know, we know, you know, because when you put a woman in your song, yeah. then you're feeling it, OK? Yeah. So we want you to look right into the camera if you want to say something, because we're going to get her <laughs> to respond to you this way, OK? So tell her how you feel it. Go ahead, you know. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yo, what's poppin', Angela? This your boy, your guy. You know what it is, but I feel like you a BB. You a boss and a beauty, so I need you on the team, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 Thank you, Angela. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Honestly, what is it about Angela Simmons that you like? She's obviously a beautiful girl. What, what make... Why? I just think, yo, you know, I come from a certain culture in the street, mm -hmm. and I always liked the good girls, you know what I'm saying? She's like, a good girl. Yeah, I always, some, I always had something about good girls. I, I've been in enough trouble myself. Mm -hmm. okay. See that, good yeah. girl? <laughs> See that? Yeah. It's, it's a very nice thing to be a good girl. On your deluxe CD, you have a picture of you as a little kid. Yeah. Where was that, where was this picture? So Where, where was it taken? Actually, I'm more like seven, eight years on it. I'm at the MGM Grand Casino at one of the big Tyson, one of the big fights. I don't know if it was a Tyson fight, but mm -hmm. uh, I was raised by six women. My mom, my mom and her five sisters, my mm -hmm. aunts. They were one of like the big hustling drug families from my city. You know, back when I was younger, we had houses in Vegas and wow. we, we stayed behind Elvis Presley House, uh, Gracelyn. Wow. You know, all that before the feds came and you know how the streets of seesaw, you know, you you be up one minute, you be down the next minute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So and you see how they were dressing me like they knew I was gonna be something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, with the, oh my who goodness. Is that with, with you? The big jury. That's my cousin. That's oh. my that's my cousin Erica, her aunt, her, her mama, Linda, which is my aunt, she did ten ten years in the federal penitentiary. Oh, wow. So Oh, wow. Yeah, so them true, them true pictures that we really, that's how we yeah, grew up. That's cute. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you grew up and you became something. I'm excited about it. Like, what got you straight? Um, to me, it wasn't rocket science to see everybody go to prison. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. my mother went to prison, my aunts went to prison, then my father went to prison, my big brother followed out, wow. he went to prison. You know, and then I jumped in the streets myself. So it was like, I already knew what came with it. Yeah. You know, it mm -hmm. was just a race of, me a racer trying to beat the time, actually. Mm. Wow. You know, if I could switch the hustle, because I believe hustling is hustling. It ain't about what product you hustle. Yeah. As long as you can switch the hustle before yeah. the time, That's you can right. make it out the street. <laughs>